Hi, everybody. In this lesson, I shall address a basic algebra question that keeps coming up ever since I made my first trick lesson years ago. I had answered it many times already. So yesterday, when a viewer commented that he was still unclear on the issue, I decided it was time for me to make another math tutorial. What's the burning question? It's why does 1 over square root 2 equal to the square root of 2 over 2? We all know that the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2, right? Okay, we're going to look at two proofs. Here's the first proof. We'll start out with square root of 2 over 2. We'll copy the numerator, but we'll take 2 in the denominator and make that square root 2 times square root 2. Now look what happens. A square root 2 cancels from the top and bottom. And that leaves 1 over square root 2. Ready for proof 2? This time we'll start with 1 over square root 2. We multiply both the top and the bottom by square root of 2. Why does that work? Because the denominator now becomes 2. And there we have it, square root 2 over 2. Was that easy? Well, let's tie this back to the trick lesson. Take a look at these two similar triangles. The large one was obtained by multiplying each side of the small triangle by square root 2. Check that out. Does it make sense? 1 times square root 2, you get the two square root 2's on the sides. For the hypotenuse, square root 2 times square root 2 is 2. Now let's check the sine and cosines of 45 degrees. You could see for the small triangle, we'll get 1 over square root 2. For the larger one, we get square root 2 over 2. And they are the same. Hope you enjoyed this lesson.